Hey, what's going on there guys? You've officially arrived at the 420 scene and today we're gonna talk about transplanting your seedlings and just transplanting in general. But first, be sure to show us some love and support by watching the entire video, dropping a like, subscribing, and tapping the post notification bell so you miss out on any future videos. And also, check out our sponsors, Robert Bergman's ILGM, Mars Hydro, and CMO for all your needs. Also, be sure to join our VIP Patreon for tips, monthly giveaways, live streams, all that good stuff, early access. Links will be in the description description below. Also, for those of you wondering, we're going to be starting a new auto flower series soon. Just waiting to get some stuff from Vivo Sun. But anyway, healthy roots means strong plants and fat flowers. I mean, that's what we want, right? So let's talk about why transplanting is so important. And unlike with hydroponics, growing in a solid medium like soil or cocoa makes transplanting into bigger pots necessary as your plants keep growing. And as the roots expand into the substrate and seek out nutrients, their network will grow to encompass as much space as possible. Now, when the roots have completely filled up the volume of the pot running circles around the inside perimeter of the container growers refer to these plants as root bound you guys all know what root bound is veg growth will slow down ultimately limiting the potential of your yields as well but by transplanting to bigger pots early on we can prevent this from happening and transplanting ensures the roots always have space to grow freely and vigorously I know a lot of people don't like to transplant autoflowers me personally I love transplanting autoflowers as long as you're not flexing on IG or not holding it for too long just you know just transplant real quick drop it in and you're good to go now here's the other question how often do you got to transplant and of course this is a matter of opinion technically you don't need to transplant but if you want to get some super nice yields I think it's important to plants grow faster in smaller pots but they're more susceptible to overwatering and overfeeding when you start in smaller seedling pots or solo cups the risk of fungus and other growing problems is largely mitigated but new problems arise once your soon-to-be vegetative plants want to establish a strong root system. Now, a good way to go about transplanting is to keep your babies in seedling containers until they've each developed at least three nodes. I like to go three or four nodes. The rule of thumb for me is, you transplant when the leaves are sticking out of the perimeter of the solo cup. I know I've mentioned it in a lot of videos. It's kind of like my go-to method. But at this point, you can transplant into bigger pots until they double their size. And eventually, you want to move your plants to their final largest containers where they can truly flourish in. I know some people like to transplant like two or three, I mean, or even more times when, you know, when you're growing photo period plants. But I like to transplant from the solo cup right into their final home. That's just me. I don't really have an issue with overwatering, so. I guess it really depends on who you are and your growing style and how frequently you water and all that kind of stuff. And auto flowers, honestly, same thing. I just like to transplant once. I don't see anything wrong with transplanting auto flowers. I know some people are kind of weird about that, but... I've never had any issues with it. So if you're wondering, should you transplant your autoflowers? I'm gonna say yeah. Now from my experiences, when it comes to when to transplant, I like to wait for the leaves to be sticking out of the perimeter of their cup, like I just mentioned. Now this is where we're transplanting from solo cups into their final home. I know some people that transplant from pot to pot to pot go by the height of the plants, but once you start growing more and more, you'll start to be able to just eyeball the best time to transplant. It's Honestly guys, it's all about practice. It's all about practice, practice and more practice when it comes to growing. Now, how much space do your plants need? And I can tell you right now off the bat that with autoflowers, I think seven gallon is good enough. It really depends on the strain though. When I was growing the Skittles, it seemed like the roots were on their way to getting to the very bottom of the pot, but not enough where I felt like a 10 gallon would be better. So autoflowers, I'm gonna say seven gallon is good, but that's not to say that 10 gallons aren't good either. Like I said before, it really depends on the strain. Some strains are gonna be growing a lot more the root system needs more soil you know what I'm saying but then again there are gonna be some strains where the roots will be good with a five gallon and some of them are gonna be vegging longer that need a seven or even a ten gallon but for me it seems like the seven gallon is the best size for autos I've also been working with indicas more than sativas so to me, the seven gallon has just, it's just been like the perfect pot size. Now, when it comes to photo period plants, I mean, <laughs> the sky's the limit. You can put them in a 100 gallon container if you really want. And I mean, of course, if you have that kind of room. Now let's talk about some tips on how to transplant when you're just about ready to transplant. The most important rule to keep in mind when transplanting is that transplant shock causes a lot of stress to your plants. So you gotta be like extremely careful. The less root damage, the better. Now, this is not a process to run. Okay, when it comes to transplanting, you can't really rush. I know I said earlier that you want to kind of do it quickly, but 
You also don't want to rush it either, you know what I'm saying? You don't want your roots to dry out or anything like that. You don't want any kind of root shock, so the quicker it is, the better. But like I said, you know, you don't want to rush the process either. Ensure that your work area is clean and wash your hands before you handle your plants, or better yet, just wear gloves. I mean, I don't, but you, you still should. All right, guys, so those are all my tips for today. Drop a comment if I missed something or if you want to talk about your experiences on transplanting. And before I go, I want to thank everyone on screen for showing their support in our Patreon community. I really appreciate it, guys. Like, I really do appreciate it. All right, so I think I'm gonna close off today's video. Be sure to drop a fat thumbs up, drop that fat like, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I'll catch you guys on Friday. And as always, stay safe. Peace.